Hi, so in the previous tutorial, we see how we can use asset equal. So we see how we can use boolean and if we have written type of string, then how we can use it. So in this video, we see how we can use array. So I create a method which take a argument of array and return an array with addition of one. So let me just complete the method. So this will take a parameter as a array. So here I simply get the numbers and plus one and then put in our output array. So this is a simple logic. So now our method is complete. So let me write a test method for this. So comment this. And now our method name is test add one to array. So this is a naming convention as we already discussed. So again we create a object of our demo class. So now here we use a method asset array equal which is same as like previous one expected and actual so i am using this one so now if we pass a array like uh, two comma three so i pass a two comma three array so the expected is 3 and 4 so 1 added so like for confusing i pass 2 and 7 so output is 3 and 8 so let me define array int expected array So now if we provide 2 and 7 then after adding 1 it become 3 and 8. So just run this and look our test case is successfully passed. Let me change this to 2. And look our method is fail and when I click on this it fail on this line and it clearly show expected 2 but was 3 so let me change one more time and pass one more array like 3 so output is 3 8 and 4 and yes it successfully pass so this is how we can test our array so if you like the video you can hit the like button share the video and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching